Hey Rune Server, this is Arno and this is part 5. How to make your own interface, cache packing. Um, I hate my screen recorder because it's been fucking up for five times in a row now and I'm getting sick and tired of it. But I just keep trying just to please you guys because I have a dozen of people sucking my dick to make themselves a fucking interface and I'm gonna make these series in order to have these people off my dick and on the fucking internet learning it themselves. Anyway, enough of the raging. Let's start up our interface maker and go to our cache. Assumably. I've been doing some private work. I lost the fetish for Blonde's interface. But, instead of that, I made uh, two custom interfaces, or actually edited an existed one, and made a new one. Look at this. Um, a moderator panel for my server. Looks pretty neat. Um, doesn't have anything special in particular. Um, has any... Hasn't got any special things we haven't handled in the series yet. So, that should be pretty clear for you. And the next one is, I believe, 684. No, it isn't. Let's see. 638, of course. How did I not know? There we are. Um, this is the quest tab. It has just a bunch of sprites. And one layer. Which is about scrolling, which I'll get back to. Um, in the later part of the series, and a little checkbox here, which I will be back in later in the series. Now I'm gonna teach you guys, or actually concentrate on the fact on how to add the interfaces you make to your server, because um, that's actually what people stop for not making them cache packed and just hard code them but as not many people say hard coding gets shitted on by cache packing oh, that's fine Red Bull anyway click file export interface file and save it somewhere where you can uh, memorize it and I'm gonna overwrite this because I already did this fucking tutorial five fucking times. Um, go to cache editor, open it up. And I'm sorry I have to put out my anger on you guys because I love you guys. Okay, new Arno, motivation. Anyway, um, go to your cache, cache. Yeah, cache because the assholes in the YouTube description kept saying I pronounce shit very funny and that's how I got my views well suck my dick um, after the cache loads go to view slash edit jagic archives go to interface.jag replace data file and go to the file you got from the interface maker here we are and save file replacement successful repack archive it's as simple as that and it should be added in your fucking server just be sure to documentate everything you do and especially the ID because that's what you're gonna need to open and I'm gonna like last time stop recording and open up my client and server and show to you guys that I'm not lying why would I anyway Hey, welcome back. This is my client. Let's log in and watch the magic. Here we are. Just ignore the little glitched NPCs thing. It's about NPC bits, which I'm figuring out. Anyway, we want to go to Quest App. Bam! It ha even has hovering, which I made green. And for the staff panel, there we are. Look at that. Wow. See, I can ban myself, but I'm not going to do that, actually. Um, let's kick myself. Bam. 
kicked. Um, about the kicking shizzle, you want to check out um, Alan's tutorial for user client inputs. There we are. Looks pretty neat. Looks pretty sexy. Has all perfect layers. Um, hovers. And that was part 5 guys. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the little twitch in my fucking voice. And yeah, my client just crashed. That is fucking terrific. I just finished the video, so GG. Uh, see you guys later. Before stopping this video, I just want to point out this guy right here named It's Just Me um, is putting out videos on how to make interfaces, actual video, positioning everything. Well, then I guess it means everything wrong. Um, he gets a fuckload of tanks, which I don't even know why, because... He's teaching hard coding and that's wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye.